Yo, what is going on guys? Today we are going to be giving you my seven biggest draft bust of our generation in the NHL. We're only going back to 2000 here. So the last 17 years in the NHL, these are just personal choices of mine on who I think have been draft bust coming in here first in no particular order is michael dow cole the new york islanders selected this guy fifth overall in 2014 and he's yet to make his nhl debut maybe he still has a lot of time he is only 21 years old but he tore it up for them Oshawa Generals. But once he hit the AHL, he's got 41 points in 75 games, which isn't terrible by any means. But this guy wasn't drafted late in the first. He was drafted top five, and he's a winger, meaning he is expecting to be playing already in the NHL. Not to mention, guys like Nikolai Ehlers and William Nylander were taken behind him in this draft. Next up, we got Eric Gubronson. He's a D-man, third overall by Florida in 2010. That's seven years ago. He's got 49 points in 330. 39 games played. They could have had a guy like Jeff Skinner, my boy Ryan Johansson, Michael Grenling, Cam Fowler on defense if that's what they was looking for. The 49 points shouldn't be a big metric to look at as he is known as a stay-at-home defender. But there's a big difference in a stay-at-home defender like Nicholas Yamerson and a guy like Hugh Bronson. Hugh Bronson is below and even well below the league average in most of those fancy defensive statistics none of us understand. And I don't believe a team wants to waste the third overall pick on below average especially when you're taking the top d-man off the board in that year's draft then there was nikita filatov columbus blue jackets 2008 sixth overall this one comes near and dear to me because i'm a fellow blue jackets fan but nikita hasn't played a game in the nhl since 2012 and has only played 53 games his entire career and the jackets could have picked just about anyone else besides kyle beach that year and done better passing up on guys like tyler myers Colin Wilson, Eric Carlson, and Jordan Eberle. How about Zach Hamill? Eighth overall by them, Boston Bruins. Another Everett Silvertip. Something about them, guys. You just want to avoid, by the way, it looks. 20 games played in his NHL career, and he's not played one since 2012. And again, seeing a center like Zach chosen over Logan Couture, Ryan McDonough, Kevin Shattenkirk, and so forth that early in a draft can definitely leave them Boston Bruins in a little bit of a slump. But is it as big of a slump as the New York Rangers were when they missed on this Almontoya draft where they took this goalie sixth overall. Montoya was taken off the board early in what would appear to be the thoughts that he would be the future goalie of the team. Little did they know a guy by the name of Henrik Lundqvist would come up the year after this draft to the NHL, and you know what they say from there. The rest is history. One can only wonder, though, if the Rangers didn't waste a top six pick on a goalie, if they could have picked a solid piece of that team and brought home a cup for King Hank. How about Peter Tadasic, 2002 ninth overall pick? Anytime a guy gets drafted in the top 10 of a draft and only plays three games in his entire NHL career, it's probably a safe bet that they were a complete draft bust. Speaking of complete draft bust, probably the most widely known draft bust in the league, arguably by a lot of fans, is Rick DiPietro. First overall 2000 goalie by them, New York Islanders. The Islanders and drafting early, it just isn't their thing by the looks of it. Griffin Reinhardt was on the verge of making this list as well. There's only been three goalies taken number one overall ever. That means you're expected to perform and well, the Petro, not so much. A career 902 save percentage. The Islanders were probably hoping they traded this goalie away much like they did their previous one. But instead, he's become arguably the biggest bust in the 21st century of the NHL. Otherwise, though, guys, that is my list of biggest job busts. I'm sure there's a lot more out there you guys are thinking of. Let me hear about them. Otherwise, though, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.